Council Culture by Steve Connolly. Episode 4 Bulky Waste. How can I help you? Is that the council? Yes, it is. How can I help you? My local borough council? Yes. How can I help you? Can you help me? Well, I'll certainly try. I booked a bulky waste collection. OK. And you haven't been to collect it. It's still there, all of it. Oh, well, I am sorry to hear that. Uh, Could I take a reference number? Which one? Sorry? Which reference number? You have more than one reference number? I do. OK. Can I take the latest one, please? The latest one for what? The latest reference number for the bulky waste collection. Oh, I only have one of them. Okay, so what are the other reference numbers for? Well, I ordered a recycling container, a food waste container, a garden waste container and a recycling container lid as well at the same time. Okay. And they've not come either. Right, okay. Can I take the bulky waste reference and we'll get on to the rest? Yeah, it's two letters and six numbers. Lovely. And your address? Yeah, it's flat 69, name of the largest town in Anglesey House, random postcode. Okay, and can you just confirm your... Yes, my first name is the same first name as a Golden Globe winning actress, and my surname is the same surname as a Golden Globe winning actress. Sorry, what's your name? Yes, I know. So your name is the same as a Golden Globe winning actress? Yeah, I know. The actress, that's... I know, I get it all the time. Have you, name of film, are you going to... Name of another film. Was I? Name of a third film. It does get tiring. Well, I'll bet it did. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I live in North London. Sorry? North London. That's where she lives. Bloody actress, you know, where they all live. All? Yeah, all the metropolitan elite. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we're anywhere near North London, is it? Well, no. I mean, if we were, that would be confusing, wouldn't it? Well, I guess it... Imagine two name of actress in the same borough. What would be the chances of that, eh? Well, pretty slim, I would guess. Yeah, wouldn't it? But here I am in local borough, absolutely nowhere near North London borough, and people are still asking me if I name a fourth film. Well, I I am sorry about that. Oh, it's not your fault. OK. What is your fault is that my waste hasn't been collected. Right, let me just look into that for you. Hello? Yes, it says that when they got there, the items you had booked weren't there. Yeah? Sorry, what do you mean, yes? The items that I booked weren't there. So why are you ringing saying that we haven't been when the items weren't there? Because there were other items there. Other items? Yeah, I booked five items which I'm allowed to and is the maximum. I paid my £25, but by the time it got round to putting them out, I changed my mind. About what? About what I wanted collected. I see. So put them out instead. OK, so you booked for the removal of a sofa, a wardrobe, a mattress, a vacuum cleaner and a TV. Yeah, but I told me Auntie Deirdre about the sofa and she said she wanted it, so I gave that to her. Then my Uncle Ken was looking for a wardrobe to put in his pigeon loft, don't ask me why. So I gave that to him. My cousin Peter is just out of the Navy and needed a mattress, so that went to him. And my other cousin, Tracy, her vacuum cleaner packed up, so she asked me if I could give that to her. And then my nephew Daniel is just off to you near needing a TV, so he got that. Do you mind me asking? Do they all live on the same street? No, why? I'm just wondering. Anyway, so the items that you booked all change? Yeah, instead I had a carpet, a desk, a microwave, an old bin and some cushions in a black bag. OK, but as these weren't the items that you booked, that was probably the reason why they weren't collected. But I put a note on them. OK. Yeah, it said... Dear collecting people, these are items that weren't the items I booked, but they are the items I want collecting. I thought that was pretty clear. OK, and where did you leave this note? Inside the microwave. Inside the microwave? Yeah, it would have blown away otherwise in this wind. So they may not have seen it if it was inside something. They may have thought it was don't waste if it was on the pavement. On the pavement? Yes. Oh, they're not on the pavement. But they had to be on the pavement, otherwise they won't be collected. 
Yeah, but his largest town in Anglesey House is on largest city in South Yorkshire Road, and that's a main road. I didn't want to block the pavement. OK. So I left it behind the gate. The gate? Yeah. Which gate? The big gate. The big gate? Yeah, you know, the ones the cars use to get into the underground car park. So behind a locked gate? Yeah. Can you see through it? Not really. So they wouldn't have been able to see them? Yeah, but if they'd called me, I could have given them the code. OK, so just to catch up here, you left items that you hadn't booked behind a locked gate that can't be seen through, even though it specifically says to leave them in front of the property. Yeah, but I did send an email. Oh, OK. Who to? General email at localboroughcouncil.gov.uk I see. T- to the general email. And when did you send that? The night before the collection. So after the council had closed? Yeah, but the waste teams start early, don't they? They would have seen it. Did you get the auto response back when you sent the email? Oh, yeah. Did you read it? Oh, no. OK, it does say that emails can take up to ten working days to be read. Oh, dear. Anyway, what I can do is rearrange the collection, but you will have to pay a recollection charge of £12.50. Why? Because you didn't leave the correct items in the correct place at the correct time for the correct people to collect. Ah, but what about these boxes and bags I've ordered? I may not have done that correctly, but you still haven't done yours correctly. Yes, uh, about those. I have all the reference numbers. OK, so first of all, it can take up to three weeks for those to be delivered. Right, well, I ordered them nine days ago. Which is less than three weeks. Well, I suppose, but... And I can see the reference numbers, but they're not for bags and boxes. They're not? No, you filled in a general contact form. So? Which can take up to ten working days to be read. It does say that on the receipt. No. Oh. I didn't see that. I did that because the system said I couldn't have those boxes and bags. Well, you live in a flat, so you have to use the communal bins. But there isn't a communal bin for food and garden waste. Well, there wouldn't be. Unfortunately, local borough don't have provision for communal food and garden waste bins. In fact, if you live in flat 69, why are you asking for a garden waste bag if you haven't got a garden? I have a window box. Well, I'm afraid that we don't have window box sacks either. So I'm not going to get any boxes or bags and I'm going to have to pay again for my collection? I'm afraid so. But I can't afford that. You don't happen to have an Uncle Albert, do you? Oh, you're no fucking use! Oh, it has been said. Hello? Hello? That was Kelso Culture, episode 4, Bulky Waste, with Steve Connolly as the council and Louise Wilson as the caller. Tune in next week for episode 5, Permits.